Procrastination is something we all have to deal with, and it's a big deal. Procrastination leads to undue stress, frustration, and most importantly, underachievement. In this video, I'm going to share with you the most effective way to overcome procrastination. Hi, I'm Del Gilbert with another Accelerating Excellence Insight. Too many people live in the land of tomorrow. They live simply by their feelings. If they don't feel like doing something in the moment, they put it off. And that's exactly what procrastination is. Putting something off that you know in your heart should be done. When we procrastinate, it affects our self-belief, our self-confidence, and our credibility with others. Here's the most effective way to overcome procrastination. Now it might sound like a blinding flash of the obvious, but the best way to overcome procrastination is to just get started. Get moving despite your feelings. The beginning of anything is the hardest part and takes the most energy. Newton's law of physics applies here. Things at rest tend to stay at rest, and things in motion tend to stay in motion. The start is the hardest part. A rocket ship uses most its fuel during takeoff. Once it's in orbit, it gains momentum and uses less fuel. Think about getting into a cold pool on a hot summer day. Getting in is the hardest part. Once you're in, you begin to enjoy it. In essence, the strategy here is this. We have to act our way into feeling. Motion creates emotion. Henrietta Mears once said, it's difficult to steer a parked car, so get moving. So to overcome procrastination, tell yourself you'll work on something for just 10 minutes, and then you will decide whether or not to continue. Nine times out of 10, you will keep going simply because you got yourself in motion. Here's another way to look at it. Say to yourself, I have a comfortable choice and an awesome choice. I choose to be awesome. If you have a complex project or an overwhelming task, break it down into well-defined chunks. If you need to clean out your garage and that's an overwhelming task, decide you're gonna clean out one corner or one shelf Again, the secret is to just get started. I just finished writing my first book. When I decided to write the book, I broke down the project into very doable tasks. And it was helpful going into each day knowing exactly what I wanted to accomplish for just that day. Hey, if you need to chop down a huge tree, by taking a couple good whacks at it every day, eventually, that tree is going to come down. Feelings are a very poor indicator of whether we should do something or not. Think about a time you completed a workout even though initially you didn't feel like doing it. 99 times out of 100, you were glad you did it. If you develop the ability to exercise self-discipline and begin to do what you know you should do, whether you feel like it or not, you will have developed one of life's most important skills. Self-discipline is like a muscle. It can be developed, it can be trained. So do something every day, whether you feel like it or not. In the end, self-discipline leads to freedom. Zig Ziglar once said, when you do the things you need to do, when you need to do them, Eventually, the day will come when you can do the things you want to do when you want to do them. That's what separates high performers from everybody else. They don't wait to start a task until they feel up to it. They don't wait for motivation. They create it by getting in motion. I'm Del Gilbert, and this is another Accelerating Excellence Insight.